Good morning. We will pay attention to bad debts today. Receive 200 Rand as a final payment of 20 cents in the Rand. If the person paid the total debt, he would pay 100%. The business only received 20% of the debt, therefore 80% must be written off as bad debts. The amount that is provided is the amount received. So next to the 20%, you will show that 200 Rand equals the 20%. If you want to calculate the bad debts, the percentage that you want, 80, divided by the one that you know, 20, times the 200 will give you the bad debts. In the second example, you receive 20 cents in the rand as a final payment of a debt of 200. So the debt is 100% and this equals 200 rand. You only receive 20%, so 20% will give you the amount that you receive as 40. Then the bad debts will be 80%. It is therefore very important to determine whether the amount provided is the amount that you received or whether it's the debt, because the calculations is done differently. Celia's insolvent received a payment of 20 cents in the rand in settlement of a debt of 500. The rest of the amount is written off. The total debt is 100%. The amount received is 20% of the debt. The bad debt is 80% of the debt. The amount given is the total debt, so 100% of the debt equals 500 Rand. The amount received will be 20% of 500, that will give me 100 Rand, and the bad debts will be 80% of 500, because the one that I want, 80 at the top, divided by the percentage that I know, 100 at the bottom, times 500 will give me 400 rand. The balance is 500 rand. We will credit the debtors control with the amount received and the bad debt so that we can write off this account because this person's debt is written off, you will close his account. The bank account is debited with 100 to increase assets on the debit side. Bad debts is debited to increase the expense on the debit side. The bank is debited to increase assets with the money received. Debtors is credited to decrease assets with the amount that's removed out of the debtor's account. You will issue a receipt and the source document and the subsidy journal will be the cash receipts journal. A second entry will be completed for bad debts, that is the expense that will decrease profits, so equity will decrease with 400. Debtors control will be credited to decrease the asset because this person doesn't owe the money anymore. This entry is recorded in the general journal and a general narration will be completed. Celia's insolvent received 500 rand as a final payment of 20 cents in the rand. The total debt is 100%. The amount received is 20% of the debt and the bad debt is 80% of the debt. The amount given is the amount received. So 20% of the debt equals 500 rand. If I want to calculate the bad debts, the percentage that I want to know, 80 at the top, divided by the one that we know, 20, times 500, and that will give me 2,000 Rand. The balance of the debtors is 2,500. We will credit the debtors' control with the amount received and the bad debts to decrease the asset with a total 2,500. Bank is debited to increase the asset. 
bad debts is debited to increase the expense. The bank account is debited to increase the assets because there's more money in the bank. Debtors control is credited to reduce the assets because the debtors owe less money. You will issue a receipt as proof of payment and record the entry in the cash receipts journal. Bad debts will be debited because expenses increase on the debit side that will reduce profits and therefore equity will decrease. Debtors control is credited to decrease the assets. The entry for bad debts is recorded in the general journal and you will use a journal narration. What did we learn? Determine if the amount received or the outstanding debt is given before the calculation is done. So if the amount received is given, then it means that you don't know what is the outstanding debt. If the outstanding debt is provided, you have to calculate what is the amount received. The calculations is done differently to determine the bad debts. So it's very important to determine whether the amount received or the outstanding debt is provided. Reduce debtors with the bad debts and the amount received so that the assets can decrease. Bad debts is an expense and will increase the expenses, therefore bad debts is debited.